Hi thinkers, welcome to the data structures in Python course on Thinkers Academy. So let's try to implement the heap data structure now. In the previous tutorial, we have briefly studied about the algorithm. So let's try to implement it here. So here I'm just going to uh, write a comment that this is a heap implementation. All right, so the first thing that we need to do here is we will have to first write the driver code. The driver code is basically the code that is going to execute all the functions here. So the first thing we need to do is we are going to create an array. And let's name this array simply as ARR. And let's insert the elements that we have uh, chosen from the previous tutorial or let's just assign anything here. So I'm going to write 2, 66, 30, 5, 9 and 10 so these are the elements of the array and now what i will do is i will create a variable n this variable n is basically going to get the size of the array which we can use the function length and here i'm just going to write the name of the array which is here all right so now we have the size of the array now the next next task is to build a max heap so here i'm going to write here build a max heap one important thing is that this whole code will be available on our website thinkxacademy.com so do check it out after the end of this tutorial all right so now we know that we will have to create a for loop and this for loop will run uh, from i and it will go till the range which we are going to specify that initially the value will be n uh, flow division 2 we have seen that minus 1 this is where the uh, range will start so the i will have this value in uh, flow division 2 minus 1 the second argument here which i am going to write here is going to be minus 1 and this argument basically says that we will stop when the value of i will be equal to minus 1 and the last element is the minus 1 also the last parameters of this range function specifies that it is actually the value of i is going to be decremented by one right so this argument here is going to decrement the value of i by one and this here is going to check whether the value of i is greater than minus one or not right so here we have the for loop and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a call to the heapify function and to the heapify function first we need to actually give some indentation here and then I will call the heapify function and let's make this function as a max heapify instead of a heapify to this function I am going to provide the array as the argument the size of the uh, position uh, of sorry the size of the array and then I will be the position from which uh, we wish to start the uh, max heapify and finally in this driver code only I am going to display the elements of the array so let's quickly do that uh, so here uh, i will just write print array or let's say the max heap is and here i will just create a for loop that will go from i in range n and every time i'm just going to print the value of array uh, one position here right array i and what i'm just going to do here is it will be separated by a comma also right so this says array is not defined because a should be capital here right and now here we have the max ep5 function it says that this is not defined so let's define it here right so here we have the max heapify function now let's create this max heapify function so i will just type max heapify right and let's define it so the way to do is use define max heapify and here i'm just going to simply write all the three parameters that we were passing to this function which was the array so it was arr and the size of the array and the position 
now simple task what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a variable which is the largest variable and this variable will be equal to the i ith position right so here uh, we have this largest value here which um, basically is actually pointing to the root element now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to uh, get create two more values which is left and right so left equals to we know the rule to calculate the left position is 2 multiplied by i plus 1 right we have already studied it in the previous tutorial and obviously we will have to remove these semicolons because we are actually programming in uh, python not in c plus plus so here we have the right position which will be equal to 2 multiplied by i plus 2 right so we have created two positions left and right we have assigned the largest element now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a if case and in this if case i'm actually going to check whether the largest value so far so largest so far is compared with left child right so here we are going to do that so in here what i am going to do here is first of all let's leave some space here and here we have the define uh, if case the way to do is we are first going to uh, write left should be less than the size of the array that's the first condition and the second condition is that the value at the largest position should be less than the value at the ith position sorry the left position right so we are actually comparing it with the left child so what we are just doing is we are actually trying to compare it with the left child here uh, with the largest element if we find out that this largest value is actually less than the left value since we are building a max heap we will have to reassign the value of left sorry the largest value because we are concerned with the largest value and it is going to point at left all right so now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to write the uh, second condition which is also very simple we're going to say that the largest so far so let's say now the largest is assigning to the left after that we are going to compare it with the right so it is compared with the right node or the right child here so the way to do is is also very simple if the right is less than n that's the first condition that we need to check and we also need to check the va uh, value of array at the largest position is is less than the value at the right position right so we are just checking uh, we are just finding out and assigning the largest value in the whole subtree right so here we have we are reassigning the largest to right so what we have done is we have just find out the largest element and now what we need to do is we want to swap it with the uh, value at the ith position right so now we are going to uh, first write a condition right which is here we will have to change the parent And the way to do so is first of all i will just check that the largest value is not equal to the ith position right because in that case we do not need to uh, swap if the value of largest is already pointing to the parent we do not need to change the parent or swap it with the largest value now we are going to uh, write the command write the line which will actually uh, swap it the way to do is very simple in python array ith position then the array largest position right is going to be equal to the array largest position comma array 
ith position right so this simple line is going to just uh, make sure that we will uh, swap the values of the array uh, at the position ith which is the parent or the root with the largest element which we have actually calculated from these two conditions so now this function is complete but we need one more step which is to make a recursive call to this max ep5 function because we need to call this function on the uh, root nodes or the child nodes as well right so uh, here i'm going to write recursive call in this recursive call i'm just going to call the max ep5 function and i will give it the array the value n and the largest value so now what it will do is it will again max ep5 but here instead of ith position it will start max ep5 at the largest position so here what we are just trying to do is make sure that uh, the ep5 function is being called on each and every child node also so this is going to make the recursive call and this will actually make the whole subtree as a max heap right so we need to make sure of this important recursive call here so now the code is final uh, let's try to run it first i am going to just save it and now let's run this here uh, i am going to just write the command python3 name of the file is heaps.py all right so you can see here maximum recursion depth exceeded in comparison so what i'm going to do here is uh, i'm just going to exit it from here so let's see what is the actual error that we are getting here all right so i can see the problem here the problem is in this line which is this recursive call the reason why this is happening is this max ep5 function should be called only when we are changing the parent so it should actually be indented uh, inside of this if condition so in python it is very difficult to actually do the indentation part you are going to actually see a lot of errors because of this so this is how it should be written it should be inside of this case so uh, we are going to actually call the max ep5 on the largest part only when the largest is not equal to the note that where we want to perform the max ep5 so let's change this again so let's try to run this program again all right so you can see here this is the max heap you can see the first element which is at the zeroth position is 66 and you can see it is the largest of all the values of our array so indeed it is a max heap our program is working and now you can see the first element on the left side it will be 9 and on the right side we have 30 and we are going to just do this again we can convert this heap to the array again and you will observe that it is also it is a max heap right then uh, what we can do is uh, we can use this max ep5 function to also perform the heap sort so in the next tutorial of the series we are actually going to write the heap sort function where we are actually just going to uh, use this whole code but we are just going to write a heap sort function which will uh, which is basically an extended code of this one only so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching